Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, over the last few days, well more than 3,000 rockets have been fired into Israel by Hamas. This comes as no surprise given that the Hamas Charter, written in 1988, includes 36 articles, all explicitly dedicated to the destruction of Israel. As a sovereign nation, Israel has every right to defend its borders, communities, and citizens. The Biden administration has prioritized a nuclear deal with Iran instead of making a full commitment to continue our robust support for our most important ally in the Middle East, Israel. Iran is the leading state sponsor of terrorism, and Iran's Supreme Leader, Alatoli Ali Khamenei, tweeted that Palestinians must stand strong and confront the enemy shortly before Tel Aviv was targeted by rocket fire. Madam Speaker, many Democrats will not condemn the ceaseless attacks against the Israeli people. Republicans are committed to ensuring that the United States fully upholds its commitments to Israel and continues to support the programs which have saved thousands of lives from destruction by Iran, Hamas, and other terrorist groups. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I yield back the balance of my time. Gentlemen.